if you are building AI agents like I am, you have probably run into this problem. Your bot needs real-time data, but APIs are limited. Web scrapping gets you blocked. And proxies. Proxies are a mess to manage on your own. Today, we are going to fix that. I will show you how to create an AI agent that scrap real-time data from the web, summarizing it using GPT, and handle all the proxy headache using Bright's Data's MCP server. This video is sponsored by Bright's Data. But trust me, this is a tool worth knowing about if you are serious about building AI agents that work in the real world. So why do your agent needs proxy infrastructure? Let's break it down. If your agents rely on APIs alone, you are limited by rate limits, geo restriction, or incomplete data. That's where web scrapping comes in. But direct scrapping gets blocked fast if you are not managing your IPs correctly. Price Data MCP or Model Context Protocol solves this by managing your proxies for you. Residential, mobile, data center, you name it. All right, now let's talk about what MCP actually is and why it might be your secret weapon for agent reliability. MCP stands for Master Control Panel. It's Bright Data's official server that acts as a smart proxy layer between your agent and the web. It's open source, easy to deploy with Docker or NPX and works with tools like Cloud Desktop, Cursor, WinSurf, and today we are using it with OpenAI agents. It handles proxy rotation, web unlocking, and even browser scrapping when needed, all through one endpoint. And if you are new to price data, you can sign up using my link below to get $250 credit to try MCP yourself. All right, now that we know what MCP is and why it matters, Let's get our hand dirty and set it up together. I will show you exactly how to create your MCP setup step by step. Now let's jump into the setup. I will show you how to create your proxy zone and get your API key. Sign up at Pride Data using the link in the description below. You can sign up easily with your Google account or email. From the dashboard, Go to Proxies and Scrapping. Add a new zone with Unlocker API. Name your zone something like MCB underscore Unlocker. Make sure Captcha Solver is enabled. Turn on premium domains if needed for complex sites. Once your zone is created, head to Zone Settings, Access Details, copy your API token from there. You will use this info later when running your MCP server and connecting the agent. If your scrapping requires JavaScript rendering, create a scrapping browser zone the same way. Copy the browser or string for your environment setup. All right, let's jump into the fun part. Now that we know what the Pride Data MCP server does and why we are using it, I want to show you exactly how I built this AI web search agent, step by step. And here's the best part. It's simple, clean, and works beautifully. First thing first, the MCP server runs on Node.js. So if you are on a Mac like me, the easiest way to install Node is through Homebrew, which is basically the Swiss Army knife for managing tools on Mac OS. If you don't have Homebrew yet, you can grab it by pasting this into your terminal. Once that's ready, installing Node is as easy as brew install Node. You can check that everything worked by running the following command to check the version. And what we really care about here is the npx command, because that's what we will use to start the MCP server directly. Now on the Python side, I'm using Python 3.12, but you can use anything from Python 3.10 and up. I like to keep things steady, so I'm setting up a virtual environment. That way, all my dependencies stay isolated and I am not cluttering up my system Python. Here's the command. And once we are inside the virtual environment, 
we install the acquired Python packages with the following command. And just to keep it transparent, here's what in that requirements the text. Open AI for talking to GPT-40. Request to send HTTP call to the MCP server. Beautiful SOAP 4 for cleaning up the raw scrapped HTML. And python.env so we can keep all our API keys safely out of the code. Next up, the .env file. This is where all the sensitive stuff lives. Your Brighton Data API token, your proxy zone name, your OpenAI key. It should look like this. And of course, you never share this file. This stays private. Always. All right. With everything in place, let's fire up the MCP server. The command is super simple. You will see something like starting server. That means the server is up and waiting for your agent to make request. Now let me walk you through the actual agent script. This is where the magic happens. The first thing we need to do is impose the libraries we need. Pretty straightforward. We load the environment variable and we set up the OpenAI client. Next, we have this function right here. This is where we send post requests to the MCP server. We pass in the target URL we want to scrap. In my example, I'm using Google News. The MCP server handles all the proxy rotation, unlocking and scrubbing behind the scenes. If the scrub works, we get back raw HTML from the page. But raw HTML isn't very fun to read. So we clean it up using beautiful soap. This strips out all the tags and gives us the plain text from the page. Nice and clean and ready for the AI to process. Now here's where GPT-40 comes into the picture. We send the clean text to the OpenAI using the chat completion endpoint. And we give it a system prompt. You are a helpful assistant that summarizes web content. The model reads the page text and returns a neat summary of the key points. The final output is clean, usable text. Perfect for agents, reports, dashboard, or whatever workflow you are building. At the bottom of the script, we tie it all together. Scrap the page, clean the content, summarize the result. And when we run Python agent.py, you get the summary printed right there in the terminal. Super clean, fully automated, and powered by the Pride Data MCP server and OpenAI GPT-40. This workflow is just one example of what you can do with Pride Data MCP server. Here's why this setup is powerful. It handles the web scrubbing complexity for you. Works seamlessly with your favorite AI agents like OpenAI, Claude, Gemini, and more. Supports real-time information retrieval, no outdated data, no ABI limitations. Scalable and flexible for different use cases, whether you are building agents for research, business intelligence, or automation. And the best part, you can easily plug MCP into any agent development framework or large language model orchestration stack like Langchain, OpenAI Functions, or Google ADK. All right, that's a wrap for today's tutorial. We just built a fully working AI web search agent using OpenAI, powered by Price Data's MCP server that handles all the heavy lifting behind the scene. If you like this tutorial, give it a thumbs up, subscribe for more tutorials like this, and let me know in the comments what agent or AI project you would like to see next. Thank you for watching. I am Art Fataya, and I will see you in the next one.